No, we know it is not a cure, it's a treatment. If it would just arrest it, or, and it wouldn't get worse, we'd be happy. But any improvement would be wonderful, no matter how little, better than what he has. Well, the common expression, the common phrase used throughout most of the blogs is, I just want to roll the clock back. And uh, basically, I'd like to go back to an early, earlier stage of the condition. I realize there's no cure, but just some treatment options for us at this stage. It's the analytical part of him that he's afraid to say anything is getting better until he knows for sure and he weighs everything. Is it due to the fact he had more rest or, or something else? I, I don't know if he's afraid of being disappointed. So he's not gonna let himself get to that point till he knows for sure. But I definitely see a change and, and he will not agree with me on that. At least from the outset, I'd like to eliminate the dizziness because that gets in the way of walking. Uh, speech, I'm not, I'm, as I was telling you, I work alone, so it's, while it's isolating, not being able to communicate, it's not the end of the world for me. I would like to convey some more. In fact, I would like to be able to tell a joke and uh, I'll go with my wife and win the island, which probably will never happen. <laughs> Although, what the, uh, I had one I thought of the other day. You said if you get Chinese stem cells, can you speak Chinese? No, I was thinking I have yet to experience the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde moment. <laughs> We're waiting for that. I could go all day long without saying any, anything to anyone since I'm in the studio alone most of the day. Unless I, if I talk to myself, then, <laughs> then I'll be talking. But that's a problem for me because uh, the speech pathologist basically said you lose it or you lose it. You use it or you lose it. So this is the most talking I've done in a, in a long time. He never talked much. <laughs> so watch out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the middle of week four. I've had five stem cell treatments and one more to go. One IV for spinal, one more spinal. Uh, we have five days to go before we go home. The improvements I've seen uh, mostly in the, uh, some of the motor skills. For example, uh, I'm not as tired as I used to be and less dizzy. I can jump somewhat, which I couldn't do before. My speech has made a, a big improvement, which I, I kind of dis disappointed. But the strength of my voice seems to have improved somewhat. We have expectations that over the next three to six months, we'll see some improvements, some further improvements. Well, <laughs> If you call it running, uh, going ascending and descending stairs is improving. Also, one one of the symptoms that seems to be come to a taxi patient is that there's an excess of saliva that builds up in the mouth. I think my the dizziness that I had when I first came here has gone away, and the fatigue that goes along with the condition has gone away. I still need some improvement in my heel to toe walking and uh, we'll practice that away from bike. And uh, speech is one thing I'm looking forward to improving. In fact, uh, being an artist, I not only work in my studio all day long and for the past 10 years, I probably spoke more this month than I did in all 10 years because I'm always alone. The spinal, the first one, of course, we didn't uh, know what to expect, and uh, all, all of us were somewhat apprehensive, but it was uh, 
there really was much to it. The first step is to hydrate, hydrate the body with an IV solution of saline, saline and uh, they inject in the same saline solution some Valium and a local anesthesia. And uh, I had no, the first time there was no sensation whatsoever. In F I hate to speak too soon because it's one more to go, but there was no pain whatsoever. The only uh, diff difficult part was uh, lying still for six hours. The first three are fairly easy because the uh, Valium kicks in and uh, I slop through most of it. But uh, as I say, keep hydrated as much as possible. Uh, one thing I did notice that there was a bit of a surprise. We uh, were required to lie down for six hours after the spinal while moving. So in order to go to, to the bathroom, uh, we have to use a urinal. And uh, we can roll up, we cannot lift our heads up. So uh, the urinal was so convenient to use that one night I, I passed all of the urine, so much so that I actually dehydrated myself. And the next day I was um, lightheaded from the dehydration. That was unexpected. I think the, the bottom line is to hydrate as much as possible during the procedure. I resent the fact that we could not do this at home. If we are willing, where there was no hope, no treatment, nothing that we could do, and we are willing to undergo experimental treatment, why can't we? We'd be willing to sign anything. Yes, we will not sue you, we will not, we just want a chance. And that is what I found in every other patient and caregiver here. They would be willing. If we're willing, why aren't they willing at home? We're willing to take the chance. There is no other chance. And I'm sure, I think probably Al will need more treatments later on. I would like that to happen in the U.S. as soon as possible. And frankly, that's what I'm going to work on when I get home. If one can, uh, can afford to come, uh, the longer you wait, I, I suspect it will not, but the further the, the condition progresses, the less the uh, benefits one would receive. So if you can come early, come early. We tried through the uh, blog to be as specific uh, on our condition, on our chronological experience as best we could. So the others who are interested in going through this experience will have a fairly good idea as to uh, what to expect. More so from the patient's point of view, I tried to encourage them more to give from the caregiver's point of view because um, I was lucky enough to be able to go through this group and I, my wife, uh, at least I know at least two people have gone through it by themselves and it's, it's something I wouldn't encourage with because this is a very difficult, difficult thing to do by yourself. It's the most rewarding thing anyone can do and Caregiver, for me, I have seen a woman who is on duty 24 hours a day with her husband. She gets two hours sleep a day and does it with a beautiful smile and told me, you have to carry on till the fat lady sinks. And that fat lady is not singing.